Minister, what assessment has been made of potential supply chain disruption, as highlighted in Section 12 of the Yellowhammer documents, including which specific areas will be, will be most affected, what steps have been or are being taken to mitigate these risks, and if you will make a statement? Chief Minister. Thank you, Mr President. Section 12 of that document states that Crown dependencies may be affected by supply chain dis disruption. We have received a high degree of assurance that our links with the UK will be resilient. Officers have been in contact with the UK Department for Transport and the Lancashire Local Resilience Forum and have been assured that planning is in place to ensure that there will be minimal disruption in and around the port of Haysham. Any potential supply chain disruption lies, therefore, in the indirect impact we may, we may feel due to potential reductions in the flow of goods across the English Channel. To prepare for this possibility, we have worked with our public sector bodies as well as our partners in the private sector to assess their exposure to these risks. This has included discussions with the Manx Utilities Authority, relevant depart government departments, in particular with the Department of Health and Social Care, as well as with the private sector through regular contacts via the Department for Enterprises Agencies and the Department of Agriculture, Food and Fisheries Industry Contacts. We have encouraged industry to make their own assessments and provide, provided them with the information to do so. This support has included Isle of Man technical notices, our Brexit guide and our Brexit checklist for manufacturers and those in the agricultural industry. We have also undertaken direct engagement through the Chamber of Commerce via workshops and outreach to specific sectors. Whilst we are hopeful that we are insulated from some of the worst effects, we will not be entirely immune from them, and so I would continue to urge local businesses to look at the guidance provided here in and in the United Kingdom and to continue to make preparations. Government support for such work is available through the Department for Enterprises Brexit Grant Scheme, which has been available since December 2018 for any type of business which wish wishes to seek external review or risk or to help fund other Brexit preparation advice. Supplementary, Mr Hooper. Thank you, Mr President. Uh, there was a, an ITV article about a week ago that the Chief Minister may have seen uh, which described uh, Jersey and Guernsey having arranged a special deal with Portsmouth, I believe, that gave their trucks and lorries uh, going via Portsmouth to the Channel Islands a priority through UK Customs. I'm curious if the Chief Minister has uh, been in conversations with the key ports in our supply chains to see if similar uh, deals and arrangements could have been made. Chief Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. And the Honourable Member raises a, a major concern for my colleagues, the Chief Ministers of Jersey and Guernsey, where they will be far more significantly affected than the Isle of Man because their um, food and, and supplies just come through Portsmouth and, and Southampton, where there is expected to be significant delays. However, that is not envisaged with um, Haysham at all, and we have contacted the ports, and there are large. Um, large marshalling yards at, at Haitian, Mr. President, whereby any traffic um, that's maybe gridlocked on, en route to, because they do do um, runs to Northern Ireland and Dublin, um, they, they have more than enough capacity to have those wagons um, marshalled without impacting on the flow of goods into Haitian, on, onto our boats and onto the island, Mr. President. So we are in a much better position. Supplementary question, Mrs. Beecroft. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the Chief Minister mentioned that he'd had assurance that goods going to Haitian and then onwards to us would be, would be unaffected, but there could be the indirect um, cost implications for coming from other ports. Has the Chief Minister done any um, research into how much of the goods that come to us in, in the supply chains actually come directly from the UK via Haitian, or what is being shipped into the UK first and then coming onto Haitian through us? What's the indirect implications of the supply chain doing it that way? Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. And this is obviously something that officers are looking at all the time, and I'm more than happy to give the Honourable Member that individual personal percentage if, if it will help. And I'll share it with all our Honourable Members. 